day 303 of the Daily Stoic. Character is fate. Quote, Each person acquires their own character, but their official roles are designated by chance. You should invite some of your table because they are deserving, others because they may come to deserve it. Seneca, Moral Letters, 47.15b. In the hiring process, most employers look at where someone went to school, what jobs they've held in the past. This is because past success can be an indicator of future successes. But is it always? There are plenty of people who are successful because of luck. Maybe they got into Oxford or Harvard because of their parents. And what about a young person who hasn't had the time to build a track record? Are they worthless? Of course not. This is why character is far better measure than man of a man or woman. Not just for jobs, but for friendships, relationships, for everything. Heraclitus put it as a maxim. Character is fate. When you seek to advance your own position in life, character is the best lever. Perhaps not in the short term, but certainly over the long term. And the same goes for, goes for people you invite into your life. Daggum, guys, I couldn't agree more. I'll tell you one of the best ways to immediately say no to another person that has come across you in your path in life is when you've spent just enough time with that individual and you realize that they are not in a, a man or woman of integrity. They're not a man or woman of honesty. They're not a, a man or woman of virtue or purpose. When you find these people... You should quickly move yourself to a decision of, no, sir, no, ma'am. They're a waste of your time. They will be leeches on your life. They will take from you and they will not give. And their character, in the moments in which their character is revealed to you and it's negative, you should take note. Because character is consistent in most cases. And especially as adults, that character has been ingrained in them for many years now. And you can rest assured if they're making that type of, let's say, gray area or gray area decision or maybe unethical decision or something like this, cutting corners or something like this, then you can rest assured that they have done that in the past. This is a consistent behavior. I love this. Character is fate. I wrote a blog post on my other my blog the Agile VC, about how I don't hire based on resumes, I hire based on relationships. And the reason is because only through time and intentionality in a relationship do I actually get to know the man or woman behind the work. It's the character that matters. Yes, yes, it takes so much more time to hire someone based on relationships than just hiring based on a resume. I get that, but I tell you the truth. That when I hire people to my fund, when I hire people to operate amazing businesses and ideas that we have, it is the character that is going to be consistent. And it's the character that I'm looking for in terms of persistence and resilience and grit and hustle, right? And, and the ideas of uh, the, the personality and character of not giving up. That's what I matter. That's what, that, that's, that's what matters to me. That's what matters in the game that I'm in. And so time and intentionality to learn their character is far more important because it saves me. It covers for a multitude of sins and it allows us to make the best informed decisions around that individual. A character is fate. Who you are as a character is exactly, is, is exactly in most cases, going to play out exactly the way that, the, that your character will pl be played out in a movie, in a Hollywood show. You reap what you sow is something we talked about last week. No one gets away with anything. Your character is your character is your character. And improving and, and making your character more positive, being a more virtuous person, being a better person, is the focus, should be the focus. This is why character is far better measure of man or woman. Character is fate. Where is your character taking you today? See in Discord, Metaphysics.